Bacardi presents the TFC Game in Six. Jermaine Defoe back in action after serving suspension, looking to get Toronto FC back in the win column here in Washington, D.C. Arno felt the presence of Defoe on his back. Heard the call from his teammate. Possession kept and now sent up the pitch by Steve Birdbaum. On Warner. Here goes Defoe trying to split the defense, and this will bounce for Bill Amid. Bradley tries to chip the keeper, but Amid gets his footing right and is back between the pipes to make the grab. A 1.13 goals against average for Bill Amid. Four shutouts on the season. Keeping possession off the back line. Warner pops into space. Bradley continues the run. Oduro's made a nice run. There's the ball. Oduro on his right foot puts it just wide of the far post. And a lot of the discussion off the game last week, not to keep kicking at one topic, but it certainly came up to the point where the league even issued a statement on it about what you determined to be a scoring chance. I think we saw there when Dominic Oduro gets two steps on someone, he's got a scoring chance. We should pretty much end that discussion. Here's Kitchen now working for the right side, chips one in. There's Johnson heading a first one home. Well, this guy's on a roll right now for D.C. United. Unfortunately for Toronto FC, his fourth of the season in the eighth minute is the first goal of the match. As they go into three more road games, this is the first of four for Toronto FC. A tough stretch for them. TFC with a nice counter. Here's a chance. And to tie it up, Bill Amin with the left hand. Oh, my, Luke Moore had a glorious chance, and I was just about to mention TFC, one thing they've done this year, very well is have an answer after being scored on and right here they have one. It's a good chance for Luke Moore who's set up nicely there. Doesn't get enough sting in behind it to trouble Hamid too much. Boy Johnson with a beautiful run. Out comes Bendick and he certainly steered Johnson away from goal. And a goal kick for Toronto FC. Boy DC United using all areas of the pitch up the field here. Morrow again. Moore with the turn. He's got his head up. Finds Defoe. Dominic Oduro's made a run, has to hold it. There's the shot. And the save made by Bill Amid is looking for his 12th on the season. Jermaine Defoe pulls the trigger, kept it on the carpet that time. And he seems pretty determined to get his shots away. It was a good save from Hamid. Jackson will have a go, and Hamid's going to be kept busy here in these few moments. De Leon plays it wide. Up the pitch, Sean Franklin, a right back with the chip. And another header goal for D.C. Or is that off the side of the net? Chris Rolfe coming close off the side, the outside of the netting. Here's Jackson trying to work his way around coverage. Referee says play on. Michael Bradley, Dominic Oduro, two on one. Oduro and Billamy comes up big again. Well, nothing United looking to strike for another one before the whistle goes to end the half, and the whistle does go before the ball enters the net. Well, you hope that the keeper heard the whistle here because it goes right through his hands, Joe Bendick. And the whistle goes just as the challenge there on Arduro. Now the referee blow the whistle for the foul. And we've seen him in past games. Save for the game in Columbus, and it's been five road games since a win for Toronto FC away from BMO Field, and that was the night that saw Michael Bradley have such a good day. Defoe with a nice turn. This play stays onside. Moore can't get it past Bill Amid. I don't know if Moore was shocked he was onside on the play, but he just really couldn't turn around and make anything of it. De Leon trying to cut inside. No call, one-on-one -on -one matchup, and it's 2-0. He's following up on the play, Rolf. For DC United in the 59th minute. I think the ref referee was actually allowing an advantage there. I think he was going to point to the spot, but was going to see what would happen with the finish here. See the tail end of Colin Warner holding the DC4 to Leon back there, but it was well finished. Toronto FC caught out and now trail by a couple of goals. I was going to say, I, I, I think people will have liked what they've seen with him trying to work with Jermaine Defoe. De Leon now. He gets around Hagelin. De Leon to make it three. Hagelin. 
Hagelin with the header, and it's an own goal. He had no choice. Hagelin running towards an empty net with the ball headed in. Did his best, but at the end of the day, it results in a 3-0 United lead here in the 67th minute. Gilberto taking on some numbers. Gilberto, it's a crack, and that one tests Amid for a moment. This Toronto FC, as the final whistle sounds, for the third time this season, are held off the score sheet. And Bill Amid picks up his fifth shutout of the campaign, and that goals against average of 1.13 will drop even more for a young man who stifled the team playing under head coach Ryan Nelson tonight here at RFK Stadium.